Jim Grainer with the Robot Group in Austin, Texas. And uh, what exactly is the monstrosity that should not be behind you? Target acquired. Maybe I should move. Well, this behind me is the Ponginator. Uh, this is actually uh, Mark III. Uh, we've had three different versions of him. He's been at Maker Faire before. Uh, this is the first time he's had an articulated skeleton, so we've used a uh, bucket lift and modified it to lift the Ponginator up and uh, allow him to go and shoot some ping pong balls at people. How does it fire, uh, the ping pong balls? There's a computer in the back over here that's uh, it's a parallax basic stamp based uh, microcontroller and it's got software in it that just gives commands to the solenoid valves. These are basically air reservoirs back here and then there's uh, air valves here that let the air come out and it fires the balls and um, it just does it as a sequence, fires them across the whole place. People ask everything about it. How much does it cost? How tall is it? Uh, how often does it fire? Can I fire it? Um, <laughs> Uh, can you shoot me? That's the other one. I, I don't understand that question. Everybody, it's like, can you shoot me with it? Now, like, you realize those ping pong balls are doing 170 miles an hour when they leave the barrel? It's like, yeah, you don't want to be shot with this thing. But, uh, no, for the most part, uh, it does what it's designed to do. It, it invokes dialogue with people. People ask questions about our group. Uh, they ask questions about the device. They say, well, how can I get involved? Um, so, yeah, it's been pretty effective in that regard. No, there really haven't been any, you know, unasked questions per se. The robot group in Austin is a technology outreach uh, type of group and really what we're looking at doing is finding interesting ways to get people excited about technology again, especially you know kids and parents finding things for families to do. And this originally uh, was, was thought up as a uh, device to use to uh, hold a projection video screen and it kind of got out of hand and this uh, articulated skeleton was just kind of too... Uh, too good to be true. We had to use it. It's uh, courtesy of my brother who has a construction company, so I got to use the, the lift. You've got to be careful when you're working with anything that has high pressure, uh, it has, you know, 110 volt electronics. You've got to keep safety in mind. I'm also using a, a lift that, that, you know, is pretty heavy duty stuff. I don't want to bring it down on anybody. So, I mean, I've got to be cognizant of that. But, you know, as a device, it's really more about making people just freak out and like, oh, where, what is that thing? And, and what does it do? And, how did you build that? And, and it, it sparks a dialogue, makes people think.